An unexpected emergency, it can happen at any time. That's why you need to be prepared. There are four essential documents everyone needs to have. Our senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson, joins us now with more on that. Good to see you, Sharon. Good to be here. So if, if, if something happens to you, what is the number one document that you think everybody has to have? Well, I think everyone needs to have, for their estate planning purposes, a will. You want to figure out where your assets are going to go, what inheritances you may have, who's going to get those. But most important for me as the mother of two children is that it gives the guardianship mm -hmm. designation. And I think for those who have not passed away, they are going through something where they're not unable to care for their children at the time they're still living. Having that guardian set up is very key, and I learned that. Yes, indeed. Something yeah. else you learned, a document that you need if you become seriously injured, as you were a few years ago. Yes, it is so important to have a financial power of attorney, a durable power of attorney to handle the financial decisions that need to be made while you're not there, from paying your bills to making sure that those medical bills eventually get paid as well. So whether you are having something on auto pay already, you still need a person to oversee that, making sure that everything is done. That's where the durable power of attorney document comes in allowing you to designate that person. The other aspect of it is if you are incapacitated in some way, shape, or form, if you have certain health wishes, um, you need someone who can execute that for you, but they have to be given permission to do that. Yeah, I had a, a period of time where I was not able to make any of those kind of critical medical decisions, and I needed someone to be able to step in and take that role, and that was my health care power of attorney. I had a document that allowed someone to do that. That's my husband. I had an alternate already named. That was my sister. And together, they made those decisions, and they also followed what I had in my living will in terms of what wishes I wanted in, in terms of that end-of-life treatment when it's a very critical situation situation. Mm -hmm. Where do you get these documents? Well, you can go, my favorite thing to do is to go to an estate planning attorney. I want to talk to someone who's going to draft the documents, kind of walk me through all the steps, and also be able to have someone to call when these documents may be needed, and also in case they're challenged. And in my case, it was good to be able to give my family members a name, a number, and someone that they could contact. You can also find the health care documents on the American Bar Association. They have forms to help you do it online, or AARP, some of those health forms can be available and there are also websites that will allow you to do a power of attorney or even a will online but again I think if you can it's best to find an estate planning attorney who can help walk you through this talk to friends talk to other sources of financial advice because can also give you some good leads on those attorneys yeah good advice and peace of mind for yes. yourself and everybody else exactly right? that's Sharon, exactly right thank you as thank always you. my pleasure Sharon my pleasure. Epperson.